was taken aback. You know, I never thought there would somebody would be interested in making a movie on my journey. And um, it took me a while to actually, uh, you know, understand that they were serious about it. And I also felt it was an opportunity to put women's cricket uh, onto the big screen. And people should know what has gone behind uh, the sport taking uh, such a long journey and reached where it is today. Fantastic. So, you know, again, I'm repeating the same thing that, you know, you, you want that people should remember. Like, you'll play that people will remember. And that's how the movie is being made. So yeah, you manifested that. And uh, now yeah. my next question is with Tapsi, ma'am, that, you know, how was it playing Mitali Raj for you and working on this movie? Because like, this is a sports movie, so what was different? At, uh, it's not on. Okay. Namaskaram. Um, actually, I'm very confused. Erojun and actually Hindi movie kosam So I'm like little confused talking in Hindi, English, my broken Telugu. I will mix it all up. Um, I think Shabash Mitulo, I felt that this is my biggest challenge to portray someone who is master of the game that I don't know at all. Uh, in this movie, mundu, actually, I don't know how to cricket. Uh, actually, to play, not to like see. Everybody sees cricket, but uh, I don't I will play. I will hold the bat. I will. How will I hit the ball at the right time? Um, but uh, I think after I took up the challenge, I realized it's just not cricket. To play Mitali, who's very different as a personality from me was also a equally big challenge and stakes were very high there was a lot of pressure because people know her now like her struggle from last 20 years till 2017 to make women's cricket visible to to indians who love cricket it finally like giving you the benefits. People know that there is a team, there is a Mitali Raj. Now they know her. Now it is even more challenging and pressurizing to portray someone like her on screen. And biopics are always a little more difficult than regular films because you are playing someone who's actually there. And at that time she was active. She was actually playing. So yeah, probably one of the most difficult roles of my career to portray. Let's see how audience feels about my cricketing skills after 15th. <laughs> okay, before I move on to the next question for Ms. Mitali, just I'm curious to know, like, you know, when we are all children, we all, ha we all have our games, right, that we play. So did you ever play cricket as a kid? You, uh, I'm asking Tapsi ma'am. Oh, me? Yeah. Like, you only she played as a kid also. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, I, I, I didn't. And every day uh, at training, I used to regret why did I not play cricket as a kid. So what were the games that you played as a kid? I played every other game. Huh? <laughs> I used to play uh, basketball. I used to play volleyball. I used to play badminton. I used to race. I used to do long jumps. I used to play all the street sports like Pithu and, you know, gallery and all this. Every I used to play everything that I saw uh, kids playing around. Tani, I think cricket low, I felt like they did not give me a chance to bat or bowl. They used to make me feel. Field, um. Yeah, all the boys, Gully cricket low, they used to make me feel. Yeah. So I, I, then I was like, no, it is not interesting. They are not giving me bat or bowl. So <laughs> I left playing, did not play cricket. And now you've played it and how? Yeah, now I wish <laughs> I had played before. <laughs> it would have been less stressful. I know. So that was very interesting. So now I'll move to Mitali, ma'am. And uh, this question is for you that, you know, every personality is unique. And since you're a sports person, so like, I'm sure your personality is unique, but even your game is unique equally. So uh, what is that one unique aspect of your personality or your game that you thought is very difficult to emulate, but Tapsi has nailed it? Personality, less talking. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and which, obviously, if you, when, whenever you watch the movie, I'm uh -huh. sure you will, uh, you will be able to see that she's emoted a lot more with her, um, with her eyes, with her expressions, you know, less uh, dialogues. <laughs> they <laughs> did lines. not give me many dialogues <laughs> in this film. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as far as the cricket is concerned, uh, 
the cover drive oh. which she's done she's worked hard for it and uh, she's played uh, and the, the way she's played in the in the movie is very similar to how i play the cover drive you know so she's not a sports person but then let's give her a big round of applause just for this compliment that miss tapsi just nailed it yeah i'm i'm they i'm breathing in this compliment and making sure it stays with me for a long time <laughs> yeah okay so my uh, last question is with miss tapsi that you know what is that one thing about hyderabad that you think uh, other cities do not have uh, my first film was here i don't think that will ever change or nothing can trump that mm -hmm. so first is always special right i don't think it can no no more amount of success or no new things that happen in my life can change the fact that in 2010 first of july my first ever film that release was in telugu so. fantastic so i think it just adds up to so much more to this day because both of you from hyderabad starting from hyderabad and you know just like coming for this movie over here just means like adds value to just the whole thing even more Yeah, so, it is. And it is. Congratulations it is. to both of you. And now you. I will open it up for the media to ask questions. So sure. you can please go ahead and ask questions to sure. Miss Mitali and Miss Tapsi. Sound check. Yeah, hi. Uh, I, I'm hi. Good morning to both of you. I'm Kalyan from India Glitz, Telugu. I have three questions. So kindly please remember <laughs> because I might not get an opportunity <laughs> to ask you both again. So first for Ma'am Mitali Meku. like wh when you did that uh, lucknow lo the 1000 run kitty what was your reaction at that point of time like 10000 that kitty you were in that against against all the games and second uh, how important is identity to you because it reflects a lot of identity in this film and when nobody was there to support you who was the one who supported you in the in your entire uh, life and it's a th fourth question is like oh my god uh, I, let's write it down i think let's go one by one yeah let's go one by sure, one sure. So your first uh, reaction, like when you entered the ten thousand uh, runs, so I mean, how how was your feeling? Because we only knew Sachin at that point of time who who achieved that. See, uh, most of the records in the last few years, uh, which I broke, I was not aware of it. Clearly, I got to know a lot of those things through social media, you know. And my social media team would tell that you know people are saying this. Have you really broken the record? I said I don't know. Let it come formally, then probably yes, I will admit. and uh, when you cross any milestones it's always a happy moment that you've come very far you see yourself you've come very far and um, and what was your second question and how important was identity which reflects in this film well for a long time in the initial years uh, when we talk about cricket it was more about men's cricket even the round table conference wherever in the parties everybody would talk a lot more about what's happening in men's cricket but never the curiosity or the awareness about is there a women's cricket or if there are women cricketer around are you curious enough to know what is happening there so in in that sense it was very important growing up and uh, making people realize is this women's cricket too for cricket there is men and women women also play cricket so in that sense identity was very very important and um, when i started obviously in the obscurity there was there was no facility no resources Uh, the number of games that we played was very less uh, we, i've played a lot of domestic games than the international in the first few years of my career uh, but i was very fortunate that i had a lot of support in terms of my parents school coaches at every stage or every phase of my career i was uh, very lucky in that sense that uh, i got support when i actually needed it you got the support that's what you were telling and last one like were you forced to do the retirement or like was it your own decision Well, there's nothing. Nobody can force me to do anything. That way, I'm very stubborn. I okay. will. If 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 I had to take a retirement earlier, I would have done it, because I've never played for fame or money. That was never the reason for me to take up the sport. Uh, the circumstance is very different as a ten-year-old. But over the years, I've grown very fond of the game, and my passion grew a lot. Uh, the passion was more playing for India, and that never sort of. uh you know uh, at any point uh, uh, reduced and um i took retirement because i was very clear i had the clarity in mind that world cup was the tournament that i was preparing for and usually after the tournament there's always a build up there's a this change in the team and they would want to build the team for the next big event 
and uh, there is no point for me at this stage to play just two, three series and be happy about it. That was never the purpose or the reason. And that is the why I took retirement. Thank you so much. You have made us all of proud. Huge round of applause once for uh, Mithali Raja. And uh, this is for Tapsi. And uh, what was the convincing f factor for you in this film? Because you also, I mean, I think it's an identity because you own a wedding agency, you own a, I mean, comp I mean, the badminton, this thing, and you're a very self-made uh, woman. So was it the identity was a convincing factor or like anything else for you to accept this film? I think, uh, first of all, who would say no to portraying Mithali Raj on screen? I think it's... Uh, Whoever is ready to put in those hours of hard work, <laughs> who has that much of time, should... I don't think any actor in the right state of mind will say no to this. Uh, but yes, one connect that if you ask me was uh, that statement that I read of hers even years before I got this offer, which was uh, when she answered the question of who's your favorite male cricketer. That is what I read uh, in the newspaper, which got me to notice Mitali. I was myself guilty of not knowing about her or about the women's cricket team. So that statement connected and spoke to me because of which I had noticed, okay, who is this person giving such a strong statement? And it, it is resonating with me. So hence I got to know about her and because of her I got to know about the women's team then. And then I felt obviously very guilty of the fact that I did not know about it. And I think, as I say always, I manifested it somewhere that it came to me to correct that mistake, to make sure I use my medium, to make sure other people are not guilty of the same thing. And Chinna Chinna mannerisms, like how she used to behave, mm. batting, how she was mm. like, how much homework you did? Actually, homework, you did. I'll tell you what, uh, my cricketing homework was uh, with the help of Notion, who is a very close friend of Mitali and has played with her and is currently coach for uh, Railways. She has played with Mitali for years. So she helped me know her cr cricketing nuances. I didn't know cricket before. Okay, So it was not like I had to unlearn my cricket and learn her cricket. So my introduction to cricket happened Mitali way. How she will pad up, how she will walk. What will, we shoot, what will she do between two deliveries? Which, uh, which is her favorite shot? Or what all is she like more, uh, she plays more, what shots she plays more? So all this introduction to cricket happened her way. So that was the detailing in cricket. And beyond that, because she was active player at that time, I, and it was COVID time, so she was not physically available to spend some time with me. I r saw all the possible interviews I could to understand that I have to speak slow, very slow, speak less. <laughs> and that's how probably I can come close to portraying her on screen. Please give me one really nice, good film so I can do it. Whoever is watching this interview will cast you. Please. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, who's Hi, next? Hi, I'm Taruna from NTV. Yeah, hi. So my question to both of you is, uh, first, uh, when Mithali, it was known that there's a biopic coming, what was that idea? Like, okay, Tapsi is doing it. You both must have met for the first time. What was the conversation? I want to know. That's my first question. We met in Bangalore. I was there for, uh, for a camp. And she flew down from Mumbai. And um, I think both of us were a bit nervous meeting for the first time uh, of course she she is more uh, you know uh, a person who, who loves to talk who loves to express vocally and i am a person who will take time i i was observing her you know uh, how she is and probably she was doing the same but the talking was happening a lot more from her trying to sort of make the uh, atmosphere more comfortable for both of us but i, I think it was a it was a good meeting and uh, that, that was our first meeting. And when I got to know that she was uh, saying the role, uh, even I've done my homework that she, she's already done a few characters uh, relating to sports person, women sports person. And um, not much had to be done in terms of her fitness or the, her appearance. But yes, cricket is a skillful game. So she probably had to le learn how I bat. So that was something was was a little bit of a bother for me. Will she be able to do it? Because as she mentioned, not many 
women uh, would have played uh, or picked up a bat in their childhood growing up. So it was relatively new for her to, uh, you know, uh, learn that sport. And it is not easy to learn something new which, is, which needs technique, which involves technique and skill. And uh, that was something, yeah, I was concerned about. But when I watched the trailers, I was quite, uh, you know, happy the way it turned out. And also I have got some videos from my friend uh, about her when she was uh, training. And I saw f from her first couple of days and to what she ended up, uh, you know, learning, there's a massive uh, change. And that is because clearly she worked very hard to, uh, you know, train in those hours for that role. Hi, Tafsi, so, welcome back. Hi, thank you. So, uh, when this uh, thing was given to you, and especially a biopic, so doing a biopic is something like you have done it for Mithali, or you have done it because the biopic ka trend is going on or everything is going on? I don't want to do the trend in the chakra, because I, honestly, am not a person who goes with the trend. I would rather be a classic. So, <laughs> I didn't do it because of the trend. Uh, I would have rather want to do something different. If there was some trend going on, I would rather want to break it and do something else. Uh, no, I did it because of her. Okay. And uh, one um, uh, quality, a common quality, both of you have, and you have eventually known it while doing this. <laughs> That's one very uh, rare find that uh, common. I think it's on the outside, we are very different. But the fact that uh, we do have a strong uh, vision of what we want in life, what we don't want in life. And I think our do's and don'ts are very clear. Are, and we are very stubborn to follow those do's and don'ts. The, ideologically, we are similar. Thank you. Hi, Mithali Garu. And cricket, you have retirement in the cricket. And the reason in India. Retirement? What is the problem? It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a No, they started just knowing, I guess. That is why. Um, uh, before the World Cup, World Cup has a goal, a goal, a purpose. Unde. Art done, ki, preparation series art done. Ki, dan mundu. But World Cup, tarvata, usually the team change hai thundi, and uh, younger players have an opportunity wala, Team ni mali build chair dan ki next uh, pet the event ki. So alanti time lo inka two series, three series, Adam lo antana ko unpia le do that I should be playing only uh, okay, purpose laga. I didn't have a purpose after World Cup. And kanta the chala pet the goal unde na ko and I put in everything to prepare for the World Cup. And um, I'm sure I will definitely look into LA sports to ne, you know, uh, involved in, in another capacity. I can always uh, help uh, help the Indian team. Tapsi, a film like this can be a risky affair. So did you face uh, any dark days when you thought you can't pull it off? Almost, almost every day while learning the game. It was very difficult. Um, it is a skillful sport, as she said. Technique is so important. And I'm playing someone who is, in my opinion, the first lady for women's cricket in India. And you are at minus level where cricket is concerned. So to look anywhere close to her, even for camera, I have taken up a big Mount Everest task of suddenly from zero to look like someone who is, you know, the master. So that every day, almost every day at work, I was like, I'm not sure this will happen. But then my coaches, they had four coaches actually with me. And all four of them were very sure, okay, no, you will do it. So a lot of times when I felt low that, uh, let's cheat, let's get a body double, let's just, you know, somehow just with cheating, we'll just finish it. They were like, no. You can do it. You've done it. And we'll make sure you are able to pull it off. So a lot of support came from them. So what kind of a research went behind this role? As I said, I had people who had played with her. They were the ones who were teaching me. So they could tell me 20 years back how she was. Or 10 years back how she was. Because I am portraying her uh, presence on screen from when she was 16 year old. When she played her first international match. Till 2017 World Cup. So almost 20 years of difference, you know, like a person is very different when a person is 16, 17 years old. 
to when the 36 37 year old not just in the way you look but the way you behave also so a someone else who has played with you can tell the difference that okay first she was like this then she changed like this and then she changed like this so that's why all the girls who were teaching me they really helped me to know how she has changed or how her game has changed how her stance has changed body language everything so that kind of research hi ma'am vital ma'am this tarzan from tfpc and uh, <coughs> నా క్వశ్చన్ ఏంటి అంటే ఏ బ్యాట్ అంటే మీకు బాగా ఇష్టం మ్యామ్ చాలా బ్యాట్స్ బ్రాండ్స్ ఉన్నాయి కదా నువ్వు ఫైట్ చేపిస్తావు బాబు బ్రాండ్స్లో మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరర్స్లో వాళ్ళు అంటారు నేను స్టార్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు ఒక బ్రాండ్ ఎన్ చేసినప్పుడు ఇంకొక బ్రాండ్తో సో కానీ నేను ఇక్కడ ఏం చెప్తాను అంటే యాజ్ అ ఉమెన్ క్రికెటర్ ఏ బ్రాండ్స్ నేను అప్రోచ్ చేశాను దే వాంట్ కీ దే వే కీన్ దట్ ఐ ప్లే విత్ దే బ్యాట్స్ దే బ్రాండ్ సో వాళ్ళకి ఐ వుడ్ సే దట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఎందుకంటే ఇట్ వాజ్ నాట్ ఈజీ డబ్ల్యూసీఐ టైంలో ఒక ఉమెన్ క్రికెటర్స్కి స్పాన్సర్ చేయడం బ్యాట్స్ విత్ బికాస్ దర్ వాజ్ నో మనీ మ్యాచెస్ టెలివైజ్ లేకపోతే మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ ప్రమోషనల్స్ ఉండవు బట్ స్టిల్ దే వెంట్ అహెడ్ టు యు నో కేటర్ టు ఉమెన్ క్రికెటర్స్ విత్ దెన్స్ గుడ్ బ్యాట్స్ సో అలాంటి వాళ్ళకి ఐ విల్ డెఫినెట్లీ ఎక్స్టెండ్ మై అప్రిసియేషన్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ అండ్ ఆల్ త్రూ మై కెరియర్ టు ఆల్ దోస్ బ్రాండ్స్ హూ హ్యావ్ బీన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ మై క్రికెట్ కెరియర్ రాజాబాబు ఫ్రమ్ ఫిల్మ్ ఇవి బయోపిక్ మీన్స్ ఫాల్ అండ్ రైజ్ ఆఫ్ పర్సనాలిటీ Uh, what do you uh, see the fall and rise of uh, Mithali? Uh, what are the elements triggered for do this project? project? Fall and rise of Mithali, I think uh, she will be able to tell you better. I'll tell you what was there in the script and the research work which we wanted to show in the film. This film is not just about her personal journey. This is actually fall and rise of women's cricket team in India. usually biopic lone what generally what happens is you show a person from you know rags to riches or uh, you know a person family was not supportive when you know you struggle inside the house uh, to even play the sport all this regular kind of problems that you see in a sports biopic were not there here mithali's parents were very supportive she had a really good coach who believed in her the ups and downs that you m- mention are with the team so this is actually a journey of women's cricket team through her la- uh, lens so you will see from because she has got a career which has seen women's cricket team and nobody knew nobody bothered to 2017 world cup when everything changed so she was the perfect person wh- whose life can actually help us know what happened with women's cricket over two decades and how it changed from nobody to what they are today so yeah that teams ups and downs you will see in the film but personal life up and ups and downs that you expect in a regular biopic no that don't come with that expectation because we are showing a captain's journey for her it was team before herself um can i go next to your right to your right yeah hi uh, i'm vani from etv so my first question is for mithali ma'am a lot less people know that you're also a bharatanatyam dancer so uh, when does it all started and ended has it really ended or are you still into bharatanatyam no i uh, i made the choice long back to pursue cricket over dance and uh, <coughs> i learned dance for 8 years uh, just a couple of stages uh, i couldn't finish the arangetam because of cricket but i don't see myself getting back into it um because i have other plans where i feel that i still want to be associated with the sport which has helped me which has given me a platform where like uh, he's just asked me to create an identity of my own and for the sport so yes when it has given me so much i feel um, that you know i have to give something back uh as a player i've 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 done i've given it everything but yes in another capacity i would see the i want to see the sport grow even 
you know uh, higher and higher mitali ma'am okay. this side this side uh, what level the topsy meets your expectation as mitali what level of uh, expectation can you Did please I come again Yes, of course. For me, she she uh, she met my expectation when she played the cover drive in the trailer. <laughs> that itself, I'm I'm very happy because acting is her uh, forte. That is her domain. But cricket is is my domain. I'm an athlete, and she's an actor. To uh, to play uh, an athlete so well, I think that it itself is a compliment that she's done really well in the in the movie. And for that, you should go and watch the movie. మీరు మీరు ఎప్పుడైనా ఈ సినిమా చూసినప్పుడు మీరే నటించే నటిస్తే బాగుండు అని అనిపించిందా లేదు ఎప్పుడు లేదు ఆ థాట్ ఎప్పుడు రాలేదు దట్స్ నాట్ మై కప్ ఆఫ్ టీ వాట్ ఈస్ ద రైట్ వే ఆర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద బెస్ట్ వే టు థింక్ టు గెట్ టుడేస్ జనరేషన్ ఆర్ కిడ్స్ టు గెట్ ఇన్ టు స్పోర్ట్స్ యాజ్ దేర్ కరియర్ Uh, can you can i uh, yeah. can what i ask you to repeat what is the best yeah. way or best way to think to get into to get today's generations or the kids as their sports career see first and foremost is the kid should enjoy playing sport and uh, there has to be some sort of facilities in the school like the other day i went to her school and i saw there are so many facilities different sports like the basketball court there's a playground there's a cricket net where a, a kid in a school would want to enjoy or playing all sports and then they can find if they have the interest in pursuing a particular sport unfortunately in many cities and many schools now is just the you know the buildings they they hardly have their own uh, playground and that is where i feel we need to change and if if a if a child is interested in sport then the support has to be there from home from parents and even from school uh, you know allowing them to pursue that pursue that interest um tapi uh, was it hard or easy for you to be in the shoes of mithali raj how did you feel hardest ever it has been to do any role because generally you do either physical prep or mental prep but this required me to transform not just into a cricketer technique wise but also play someone who is very different from how i am so she might think a lot in similar ways but her way of expressing is very very different from me so eventually on screen you will see wo- how i express so that is very different from what comes naturally to me so that way that way a lot of acting also went along with cricket you've seen i mean cricket is a new thing for you all to see me playing you'll notice that but i hope when you watch the film you will realize how how difficult or different it was to make sure i do justice to the kind of personality she is yeah okay apsi sir మిథాల్ గారి కవర్ డ్రైవ్ ప్రపంచంలోనే అంత గొప్ప గొప్పగా ఆడతారు కదా దానికోసం మీరు ఎట్లా కృషి చేస్తారు కవర్ డ్రైవ్ మిథాల్ గారి ది బెస్ట్ కవర్ డ్రైవ్ ఇన్ దానికోసం ఎట్లా ప్రయత్నం దాట్ ఇస్ వాజ్ మై ఫస్ట్ లెసన్ ఆఫ్టర్ హౌ టు హోల్డ్ ద బ్యాట్ second lesson was the cover drive <laughs> so that is actually i think coaches should be able to tell you i just see the good thing about not knowing cricket is you i'm like that raw clay you can tell me from scratch that this is the first lesson you have to make sure this is perfect i will work on that so it's not like my favorite shot was pulled short so that's why now i have to change it into cover drive so they made sure my training was like this that i had to fall in love with cover drive so my first introduction to any kind of shot was with cover drive jumman dinana nunchi mee transformation ippar varaku etla chustaru idantha kuda meere cheppandi because you are witness to it kada anne em cheppali ela undi so that's why you have to tell me as an audience as someone who's seen me in 12 years actually it's been 12 years this july that uh, i've been working i've been trying to do better i hope mission impossible to success lo unnaru idho success ankochu i i really hope i i mean we all work very hard for every film and because uh, time and time that we give to every film will never come back in our life so i'm hoping that this becomes successful mithal garu ek okay. cricket raina uh, stadium lo retirement ivalanukuntaru adu pedda goppa farewell untundi meer 
చాలా గొప్ప ప్లేయర్ కూడా మీరు ట్విట్టర్లో ఎందుకు ఇవ్వాల్సి వచ్చింది డిసిషన్ నేను ఆల్రెడీ వరల్డ్ కప్ నుంచి వచ్చే తర్వాత ఐ హ్ టేకన్ దాట్ కానీ కొన్ని ఎమోషన్స్ ఉంటుంది ఇప్పుడు మ్యాచ్ సౌత్ ఆఫ్రికా మ్యాచ్ ఓడిపోయినాం కాబట్టి ఐ వాజ్ వెరీ హార్డ్ బ్రోకన్ సో ఆ ఎమోషన్తో ఫస్ట్ నేను డీల్ చేయాలా దాని తర్వాత దెన్ ఐ వెన్ ఐ టుక్ దిస్ డిసిషన్ మా పేరెంట్స్తో క్లోజ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్తో నేను డిస్కస్ చేసి ఆ ఎమోషన్ ఐ వాంట్ టు డీల్ విత్ సో వెన్ ఐఎమ్ వెన్ ఐమ్ ఇన్ అ గుడ్ స్పేస్ అందుకే అప్పుడు ఐ హవ్ అనౌన్స్డ్ ఈ సీ ఈ ఇయర్లో వీ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ Uh, home series kabatti then uh, that's why i took it i took that decision then home series unte maybe uh, i would have played that and kada na chaala idi unde oka home lo aadali man india lo aadi announce cheyala na adoka unde korika okay uh, now uh, sir we'll open it like one last question so let's give it give a chance to anybody else Topsy who has not got Topsy any man. Okay. Next, your productions are the same as you can do the combination of the combination. It's true? When I announce, na, then I will tell about it. Enough for speculation. Yes, we are working together on something. But uh, when you will hear about it, formal announcement, I will talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.